Hi guys, I am Priyanshi from DSC Kit and we're back with another video on the tutorial series, the C programming language. Now, if you've come this far, kudos to you, you're doing great. Now, you're learning all this theory, right? So you need somewhere to practice because you don't learn coding by watching tutorials, you learn coding by actually coding. So for that exactly that reason, we bring to you the DSC Kit C challenge. Uh, the link is in the description and if you click on that link, uh, it'll lead you to here. Now we're hosting this on Hackerdunk, which is an amazing platform for um, programmers to just practice various sorts of problems. And um, what you need to do is uh, attempt these problems. You need to enter this contest. Now, if you already don't have an account on Hackerdunk, um, your page will look when you click on that link it will look something like this don't worry all you have to do is sign up and once you create an account in hackerank your page will look something like this and uh, now just enter the contest And to you least see a list of challenges here, right now there's only one. And if you click on it to attempt the challenge, read the question first. So if you look closely, you can see that we have uh, we have to calculate simple interest and uh, we'll be given P, uh, the principal rate and time as input. And then we have to calculate simple interest according to this formula over here okay and uh, what in what format will be be given this input is uh, that there will be three lines of input uh, the first line will have um, principal as input and uh, this, you can see the data type is mentioned here now it won't always be mentioned here but since this is just a beginner's challenge i've mentioned it here that uh, it can be either float or int the second time the second line has rate and it can also be float or int and the third line is time which can also be float or int now there's also a section called constraints and uh, there is no uh, constraint for this challenge as you progress with uh, this contest you'll uh, see how um, constraints are being added okay and the output is simply you have to print out the simple interest rounded off as an integer so no float value here and you can see if we put uh, the principal as 300 uh, the rate as 12.5 and the time as two years you will get uh, the simple interest as 75. now you can actually uh, you don't need a uh, vs code or any other editor for attempting this challenge you can yeah they have provided you with an editor and it's already set to c here and all you have to do is write your program in between the main here but let's just do it in our editor because we like our editor it has predictive text so open your editor make a new file give it a name si.c okay you can see they have given us various uh, header files which we haven't used till yet uh, but you don't need to worry about them until later in this video. Right now, we'll just be using printf and scanner. So you've noticed that we need to take principal rate and time as input. So let's just declare them first. And after that, we'll take them as input. Now, I've chosen to... Uh, I've chosen the data type float because it can handle both uh, integer and decimal values. So and always give good variable names that are easy to understand. So if someone else is reading your program, they can easily know. No PRT. Give variable names like principal, rate and time. Okay. And we need one variable called interest in which we'll calculate the interest. And it is integer because... Our, as you can see, our final output has to be an integer. Okay, so once you've done that, let us simply take input and that will be using scanf. And the input has three lines, right? So we'll need three lines of input.
so principal rate and time done so after that all we have to do is calculate interest which we can do with the formula that they have provided us principal into rate into time and divided by 100 now once we've done that uh, we have all we have to do is print so print us and this is an integer value and we are done so let's see if our um, program is giving the right output head over to your terminal and compile the program so they are showing nothing over here this because we haven't uh, given any uh, print statements all we have to enter the information and uh, you shouldn't give print statements uh, just take the input and display the output as it is given in the sample input and output so let's just see the sample input and output so just copy this from here paste and we are getting 75 don't worry about this weird percentage side uh, this is because of something called jsh installed uh, you won't get it all you will get is 75 and uh, yes we are getting the right output so a program is right let's let's run let's submit it let's first copy this submit this You can see a submit code button here okay you can also uh, run your code and it will automatically check this against the sample input so yes you're getting that too you can also take any custom input and uh, once you're done testing it submit this and it is evaluating and yes we have passed uh, the sample test case and the hidden test case so that's it that's uh, exactly how you solve a problem in hackadank now this uh, list of problems will uh, keep on increasing and you can see in the leaderboard that uh, you'll have your name Okay, uh, it requires a few missubmissions, submissions, but uh, when you will all keep submitting, uh, it will have your names over here. Now, uh, we are not uh, keeping track of the leaderboard. If you complete a problem, we consider it as solved. So, don't worry about this. And uh, there's also a discussions column. If the pr problem gets uh, difficult than this, you can post uh, your views on how you approach the problem. Don't post questions we are building a community sorry don't post solutions we're building a community here and everyone would like to you know solve this problem on their own uh, post a question you have post your the way you approach the problem and something like that help other people it's all about building the community here okay and uh, we're done dm us on twitter if you still have any doubts we'd love to help you and follow dsc social handles for more fun interesting tutorials and series like this okay thank you